After a month on the road, the Stars return home after suffering one of their worst defeats in club history last week to the Carolina Railhawks, but they're back at the National Sports Center against the always tough Tampa Bay Rowdies. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Lennon. Welcome to NSC Stadium. This is Buzz Lagos. Ali Arlt will join us throughout the game. First for the visiting Tampa Bay Rowdies in gold, will be Jeff Ensnell at the back four, San Filippo, Scott, Grimada, and Rodriguez. Through the midfield, Campbell, Peel, Mulholland, and Yoshitaki up front for head coach Ricky Hilton. It is Amber Lees and Pick Hall. Going home, Minnesota Stars FC in goal will be Matt Van Opel. Back four, Davis, Diaz, Altman, and Coleman. Starting up front for head coach Manny Lagos is Martin Nunez and Simone Broccolello. Family Sports and Orthopedic Care keys to the match. For the Stars, all you know, was that a touch on it? Forget the hiccup. We're talking about last week's game. We're going to go five one loss here. You know what? Played well. Forget it. Move on. Get ready. Coach Lago was telling the forwards that he wanted to be more mobility. I know when he bar across that ball, three were very static. Neil Lavity made a run near post. The other three should have stood and watched. To the top. Oh, go! <laughs> Great skill by Taka. I mean, to shield the ball in traffic, take it toward the line, turn like he's going to pass the ball back, looking for somebody out by the D. Everything and to calm everything because. As a player, you could keep getting whacked on your ankles. I, You're going to get frustrated and, I and, and such, I, I especially when there's too. no response from the referee. So good opportunity here for the Rowdies. It'll be Luke Mulholland on the restart. Service into the far post. Altman will clear it away safely. He's going wide to the goal, but better be safe than sorry. And the corner kick, first part of the halftime, right after the uh, end of this first half and head coach Manny Lagos when the teams come out. I snuck in. And ball got in, but no goal. So goal is waved off. I assume there's a foul of some there's sort There's a foul there. of some sort that the referee saw. Yeah. Mulholland will await the... Whistle from the referee to restart. There it is. Mahon with the, the service again. in near post, punched away by Van Oko. And they're going to say it last touch. Or Rowdy's. Oh, you like it on his right leg. That wall can go back a little further. And the referee standing the 10 yards back, waiting for the wall to, to retreat back to that spot. The wall now. Not cooperating as much. Broccolello can uh, hit the crud out of the ball. So I, I'm not too, uh, you know, I feel a little bad for the uh, the Rowdy's defenders who are in the wall. Is Here's Broccolello. Be courageous. Oh. Pushed away by Antonella. Well hit by Broccolello. Equally good save by Jeff Antonella. Simone hit it very well. And that's what you just want. You want a shot on target like that. Uh, power. Make the keeper have to make. Here's Yamada. Rodriguez. Coleman. They play it back to Van Okel. Davis. Oh, oh tough one. Oh, dangerous Open one there. there. Yoshitake! Goal. Goal! Ties it up at one. Going to send it pitch side to Allie Alt. She's with Tampa Bay head coach Ricky Hill. What do you think about your team's overhaul first half performance? Um, can do better. Disappointed with the way we started and a very cheap goal we gave away. Just fell asleep and it was in the back of the net. Um, I can't be too critical. It's the first goal we conceded during open play in, in any league game this season in the first half. So 
we had a goal disallowed, which I'm a little bit bemused as to what the infringement was. But at least the lads didn't keep their head down. They kept going, and we got a little bit of good fortune at the end with some hard work by our forwards, resulting in a well-executed goal. Coach, success very early in the first half. Fell a little bit here in the last couple minutes. Uh, what are your thoughts on that first half? Well, I thought we played pretty well. I thought Tampa came back into the game, but I really thought we had the game in control, and that's soccer. Sometimes you have one mental let up, and they score. And, you know, I think it's going to set up for a great second half because certainly Tampa has a lot of confidence now getting the goal late in the half, and we kind of put our heads down. So I think we have to come out and play hard and play with confidence and, and get back into it again. What did you think of those offensive opportunities that you guys did find in that first? I enjoyed it. I thought it was good soccer, and we were up a goal, and I thought we were creating some good chances. I hope the fans enjoyed it. But now, again, it's all even again. It's like a 0-0 game, and uh, we got 45 minutes to get Result. All right, coach, good luck in a second. Thanks. Thank you. Poked away. Hill, good touch in for Mulholland. Into the corner. Picard into the penalty area. Fafa on the ground, touched away. Davis, opportunity for Mulholland, and that goes wide. Good sequence by Tampa. Got around the flank on the side. Three Stars players finally. Takata interrupts that. Venegas. Broccolello. Ibarra. Saved by Antonello. Rebound. Conclusion of this game. San Filippo on the restart. Yamada back across. Headed down by Venegas. Pacaw. Amersley. Scott. A lot of loot. Ahead for Yoshitaki. Mulholland. Yoshitaki, good touch for San Filippo, who's making a run. Cross in, Antoniak! Oh, Just one, sending it high. Wonderful passing sequence by Tampa down that flank. Good combination. Mulholland gets the ball from Antoniak. Mulholland. Savage, top of the box. Left footer! Goal kick. Coming up for the Stars. Mulholland. Driven cross in. Touched away by Diaz. Campbell. Good overlap. Cross in from San Filippo. Headed down. Antonio tries a little back heel. Yoshitaki. Savage. Goal! He hit that well. Outside midfield, not getting back in good position, getting those good crosses in. I thought uh, uh, we're going to go well. down pitch side to Ali Arlt. She's with Tampa Bay head coach Ricky Hill. Down early in the first, you closed that gap in the in the end of the first. Then in the second here, you guys were able to close. What were those overall thoughts? Um, very delighted to get the win against a top side like Minnesota, the, the previous champions from last year. We are doing excellently this year, and Manny's got them playing some really good football. So I'm very pleased, especially we were on a little bit of a dip run. We've had two un indifferent performances away from home, not in terms of how we tried to play, but just in terms of the breaks that we've had, and we, we've lost both of them in Puerto Rico and at Fort Lauderdale. So it's nice to come away and get three points on the road. Uh, I've got to applaud my, my players for the effort they've done. You know, they could have dropped their heads in the first half and felt sorry for themselves when they had a goal disallowed for an infringement from a corner, um, but they didn't. They came forward, they put their best foot forward, and at the end of the day, we finished quite strongly. You guys come in here, and the Minnesota Stars have been hot all season. Do you think it's some kind of a statement to come in here on a, on a road game with the guys and, and come back with a W? It should give them confidence. I mean, it's, it's great to win here. It's a very difficult place, as you <laughs> rightly say, difficult place to win. They haven't lost many games this season, if any. I think the first, last week was their first league loss. Um, so we're delighted that we managed to take the three points, and we know that Minnesota are going to be pushing throughout the season. They're going to come back next week and come back even more determined to get three points. I hope that will give us a platform now to go on a little bit of a run where we might be able to maintain an unbeaten record for three, four, five games if possible. Mm -hmm. What did you think about Antonella in that tonight for you guys? When he was called upon, he was excellent, but I was, I was also very pleased with the, the manner of how much work he had to do. He didn't have a great deal of work to do, particularly in the second period. I felt the, the back four really shored things up and really played as a unit and defended most of the things that Minnesota threw at us. And on the counter-attack, we always looked quite promising at times. Coach, congrats on that W tonight and enjoy your first night in Minnesota. Thank you very much. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Guys, down here with man of the match, Martin Nunez.
Martina, it's kind of a bitter taste in the mouth having suffered a loss tonight, but you had your first goal with the, with the uh, Stars here early in the first, which seemed like an impossible angle. Walk us through that goal that you had. No, yeah, I just got the ball uh, on the left side, and I kind of turned, and I figured I was by myself, and I just went straight to go, and uh, I got a shot off. What are your thoughts kind of on that overall play tonight against the Rowdies out on the field? It's a tough battle. Every team here is just, uh, works hard, and uh, uh, I thought we were looking good at the beginning, and then at the end, I guess uh, we started kind of like our, the ball started getting away from us. Uh, but uh, we fought hard, and uh, they got a little bit unluck uh, unlucky at the end. Does it feel good to, you know, you guys were on the road for a month. Does it feel good to be back here, back at home in front of your home crowd? Yeah, oh yeah, the fans here are, are, are it's a big influence here for our team. So uh, we're, we're, we're happy to be home and uh, hopefully we'll start winning some games and go on a roll. Martin, congrats on being our man of the match. Enjoy that first goal and we'll see you next weekend. Thank you. With Manny Lagos, head coach of the Minnesota Stars FC. Thanks, guys. Coach, you're able to take that early lead, but Tampa Bay was able to close here in the end. Um, what was it that didn't click quite for, for the Stars tonight? I thought we just got a little stretch in the second half, and they, they actually did a good job of keeping possession. And, uh, you know, I, I still thought we had our chances, and we were really trying to press the game. Uh, but credit to Tampa. You know, again, they took the momentum of uh, us kind of giving them a goal at the end of the half, and uh, they came out in the second half, and, and they put a lot of pressure on us and made it difficult for us. The Stars have been hot all season, but now you've got two losses on your record. Do you think that after coming out so hot, having those two losses has maybe humbled the team a little bit, or where do you guys go from here? I would hope so. You know, this is our first loss of the year at home. You know, we've lost, if you count the, the Open Cup, three games in a row now. So I, I think the reality is, you know, it's like anything else. It's not an easy game. You know, we have a lot of good teams in the league, and, uh, you know, you're going to have nights like tonight. Uh, I think the key thing for us is to, to bounce back and uh, to make sure uh, we do play better next week. So what is it that you take from tonight's game, learning what didn't connect for you guys, that you take as you take on Fort Lauderdale next weekend? Well, I think the big thing is that we got to be sharper. You know, I think if we step on the field and, and hope things are going to do well, we're going to be in trouble. And I think at the end of the day, all the teams in this league uh, will play well. They'll move the ball and, and they'll put stress on you. And uh, we have to be ready to, to play for 90 minutes. And uh, again, I thought Tampa did a good job of uh, putting stress on us. And we didn't quite have it tonight to come back at them. Coach, thanks for your time. We'll see you next weekend. All right, thank you very thanks. much. Thanks. Chris and Buzz.